What's good everybody? Welcome to my channel. It's your boy Brian Scott aka the 9 to 5 actor and here on my channel I talk about everything from working a 9 to 5 while I'm trying to chase my dreams of becoming an A-list Oscar winning actor one day. Um, throughout this time frame I love talking about my mindset shifts, the different things that I go through and you know I'm gonna be sharing skits and podcasts and so if you right now have a 9 to 5 job and you're seeking to be more or seeking to be an actor definitely hit that like button hit that subscribe button comment your thoughts on all my videos man and let's get right into it so today's video I just want to talk about why I quit watching porn okay so I would say I officially quit watching porn probably about six months ago now so it hasn't even been a crazy long time um, and I want to share my reasons for why I ended up doing it. Now, for some context, naturally, I feel like I started watching porn when I was probably like 14 years old. You know, I feel like that's about the age that most boys start when we start finally getting our hands on those devices. You know what I mean? And over time, I feel like I was watching porn consistently. But within maybe the last three to five years, I probably was only watching porn once a week. And I didn't think that was an issue. But I started recognizing what the issues was and i'm gonna share those in this video so i've broken this down into six different topics that i'm gonna just run through so that way you all could just understand why i needed to stop watching it and just the impact that it's had on me now up until this point okay so one of the first reasons why i stopped watching porn was for my own personal values and ethics okay i didn't view myself as someone that needed to watch porn to get off um and i also that just not was the person that I aspired to be for my future. Like, you know, when you view your future self, I didn't see a person that sat around watching pixels on the screen and getting off uh, to another man and woman being together. It just, I started to like lose trust and confidence in myself for who I was as a person. And it was so funny because I still was getting women and I still was able to have sex, but it was just this disconnect of just feeling disgusted with who I was because of the point that I even got off through pixels on a screen. And I mean, I'm sure we all felt that way. All men, a lot of us at the end of the day, when you, if you were watching porn and when you're jacking off to it or you're watching whatever you're watching, using toys, whatever you're doing for yourself, and when it's said and done, you just kind of sitting there just like, ugh, did I really just do that? Like, ew. And, and that's how I was feeling. And I just personally didn't like feeling that way. So that's, that was like the beginning. The second one would be relationship dynamics. Okay. So what I recognized is the more I was watching porn, right? Even though it was just once a week, what might've got to at some point twice a week. Cause I don't want to keep saying once a week. Cause I feel like my mind was every Friday, but then sometimes I do it on Friday and Saturday. So I don't want to knock that when I was doing it. Um, and what was happening was I was losing the disconnect of the relationship energy I was even getting from the person I was dealing with. Like it got so bad that there was a point in time when I would prefer to watch porn over have sex with them, right? I would have sex with them and then want to watch porn after instead of have a second round with them. And it's so easy for a person to be like, oh, well you probably just wasn't that sexually attracted to him. That wasn't the case, it's super hot. But I think my mind just got so warped into that porn world that it leads to my third point my psychological well-being where i started becoming desensitized to intimacy right i was always chasing that bigger high that that wilder porn scene i feel like everyone does it too where you start off and it could be just some regular porn ish and then now you start watching god i don't even know what it's called i guess the cosplay or the make-believe things and then you start reaching even further and then further and now you got a uh, wife bringing a girl into the room into the relationship and then it just it just gets crazier and crazier and crazier and now you get, just keep trying to chase that bigger and bigger high just like that bigger and bigger porn vid that it just got bad like it got to when you just scrolling past vid after vid after vid after vid and your brain is like not good enough not good enough not good enough not, and it just yeah yeah and it got ridiculous right to the point that I could tell my mental health was suffering and I wanted to get that in a much better place because I couldn't have that emotional or intimate connection with like a woman at that at that point in time to the point that I wanted to that I actually would have felt satisfying versus feeling like I was alone. And then I, it kind of goes back to my beginning point. And then when you're actually done, you sitting back like, oh, I'm really like looking at pixels on the screen with my hand out. It just it just felt I just felt disgusting. You know what I mean? Season number four, my productivity was plummeting. So as you all would know, um, 
having just in general when you have your orgasm uh your loot you get that high endorphin spike that dopamine spike i mean and then it just drops it plummets off so yes you can keep putting in work on things but also you just want to relax after and so what was happening was as you all know i'm a nine to five actor like now and so a lot of time when you work a nine to five yes i got three hours each day to work on my dreams but the weekends are really important and so when i was watching porn i was getting this big productivity spike and relief every day on the weekend but i wasn't actually accomplishing anything and so i realized that that wasn't helping me either because i was never in the mood to do anything right and so it just it just started consuming my time and also let's just talk about time where it's not like i just knew what video i was going to watch you're also wasting time trying to find the right video that can actually get you going and different things like that and so just i prefer to keep my productivity levels high and i also it always just comes back to the point that I just felt like there was no need for me to be wasting time sitting there searching down the next video and the next video and the next video like every single weekend. So lastly, here's my advice on quitting. And this might be a reason why you watch this video to try to figure out for yourself, like can you find somebody who's going through the same struggles as you along with the point, well, how could you stop yourself? I will definitely tell you, it is super annoying how much porn and soft porn is being pushed through social media and everything. It's just enormously now to log on. Uh, I'm speaking only from the man perspective, but you see women just getting butt naked for attention and social media allows it. And so this is all, this is all you see everywhere. It's just uh, titties out, booties and everything else. And they could keep your desires always high. you like, oh God, I just wanna see that, I wanna see it. So the first thing I would definitely say is to, if you have a social media, Start making sure that you actually looking at productive things that actually push your life forward and whatever you want to do and like those things and comment on those things. And you'll notice that the natural algorithm will shift up to start putting the type of content that you should be seeing that doesn't even keep you thinking about porn on your feed. So I would say that's probably one of the first things you got to do. Social media is prevalent. So that's why I'm starting with that. Next up. I would say you got to take a serious look in the mirror and ask yourself, what does your future self look like and what does your future self want for you? Okay, now, if you want to have a good, intimate relationship with your partner in the future, then you definitely got to get off porn. And this applies to women as well. I just want to throw that out there because I know a lot of women sometimes say they can't find a connection with their man or they can't get that orgasm and it's always blamed on the man. Well, let me just tell you all, the same way men can become desensitized to that connection with women, women can come be, become desensitized to getting an orgasm with a man if you're always using toys and watching porn, right? So the same concept affects both people. And I know this because I have female friends and they've told me how they struggle with getting an orgasm with a man. And I'll always be like, you watch porn and you be using toys? And they're like, yeah, all the time. And I'm like, exactly. And then I didn't even realize they're telling me their stories that their other female friends their other female friends are coming to them saying like oh wait you don't watch porn because they don't watch porn anymore either like my female friends um and they'll be like oh you don't watch it yeah i watch it every day sometimes two three times a day well, i'm like well no wonder you can't have no intimacy with a man like you getting yourself off all the time and then you want this person to show up and do what the toys can do and that porn can do it's impossible and we know this because we as men if we watching porn and we sleeping with somebody who knows what's on your mind during that time frame you're not even thinking about this person a lot of times and so with that being said you gotta ask yourself what do you want your future self to look like and do you want real intimacy with the actual person where you know your brain needs that real emotional connection okay and if you decide yes and yes for yourself then it's something where one day yo i'm gonna tell y'all this wasn't something i cycled off of it was literally one day I think I had just did it. I, it had to be the video. I, I don't remember. It had to be something that was like super extreme. And I remember sitting back after like, is this what you're really searching down, bro, to get off you? And I honestly think really high of myself. And I, I aspire to do more of my life and everything else. And I was like, yeah, I'm done with this shit. And I literally never watched porn again. So it wasn't that I needed some big break. I haven't had any lapses. I don't even think about it. The thought of it disgusts me, to be honest with y'all. Like my hand, even like thinking of thinking of me grabbing some lotion, getting oil, or whatever, and yanking myself off. It that shit ain't happening. I ain't gonna lie to you. I just the thought of it is just hell no. And so I believe you just gotta change your perception of how you view yourself. And you also can't be like, 
and how you talk to yourself. Like, I don't watch porn. Do y'all see? Now, and I say that adamantly and serious. And so my mind knows that. And so it also pushes into my body. And that's why I'm so disgusted by it. And that's what you got to get with yourself, where you're not lying to yourself, where you truly mean it. You're truly disgusted by it. And you actually want to do better for yourself. And let me just tell you, since then, my intimate connections are through the roof because of the point that now I'm actually present with that person. And I always had that conversation with them about porn too, just to throw it out there. And the individual like I'm even talking to, they don't watch porn. And I think that's really important as well to make sure that your partner, because if your partner is behind your back watching porn, but you're trying to be intimate with them, it still doesn't work. So it's a conversation that you got to have with people that you're talking to as well, because you want you want y'all to be in sync and on the same page. Okay, so I hope I was able to help out in any way that I can with anybody who has struggled with watching porn. Um, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Comment your thoughts below. Are you struggling with porn? Um, have you quit porn? How long have you been out? Uh, like you just give give me your thoughts, and I always love hearing it and seeing what everybody else is going through. Hit that subscribe button, y'all, and I will see everybody at the top.